so now it's time for the animation blueprint. I like to do this first because like everything really depends on it. So in our blueprints, we can right click animation and then where is it? Animation blueprint. And in here you're going to click the the uh, idle skeleton. The skeleton of your character. Make sure you don't click the mannequin. Let's just have this as animation blueprint sentinel. Let's change this to uh, be blueprint sentinel. So go into here, and you gotta got this. So you're going to add new state machine you can name this anything I usually don't even change the name honestly but let's do basic movement connect these two and then inside the state machine is where all your animations that connect to each other will be so you see all the animations here on the right we're gonna put four of these in here we're gonna have the idle Make sure to connect this and click in the idle. Usually there won't be anything here. If you, uh, well, there will be if you drag, click and drag in there. But, uh, anyway, so you got the idle. It'll always go into idle no matter what. So you hit, if you hit compile, you see he's in the idle state now. You're going to click the border, drag off of that, add a new state. We're going to make this running. In here, you're going to uh, – I'm not sure what it's – I don't know what it's called. Oh, yeah, two-cycle sprint. So you got play two-cycle sprint animation. And you can hit compile. But, oh, no, it will never be take. It, this will never take place because we have no – reason for it to go into there so we're gonna double click on this make sure it's the one going towards it first and we need to create a variable down here so at the variables click plus variable we're gonna call this can run uh, compile and then you're gonna drag hit get and you're gonna connect these and, but it still has an error. Why is that? Because now it will always be in this state once ev whenever can run is true. So we need to get it out of that state. So we're going to, once again, get can run. But whenever can run is not in this state, they can re-enter the idle transition. I'm not very good at explaining this, but I uh, hope it's working good enough so we got our idle to running now go back to our our sentinel blueprint not the animation blueprint and we're gonna click on this guy's mesh use and it's already it's already here it'll usually not be here but use animation blueprint animation class and then you click on your sentinel so now, if you hit play, it'll always be in this idle state because we haven't had the we haven't made the code yet. But I want to make all of our little animations first, so that's the first step.